You're unemployed and you get a letter saying you owe hundreds of dollars in back Social Security taxes. That's the reality for some shocked U.S. Census workers. CBS 2's Suzanne Lamignot spoke to one of them who agreed to speak out only if we can seal their identity. I feel blindsided. I feel like I've been sucker punched. This person was a manager at a Chicago area U.S. Census office. They recently received this letter demanding they pay deferred Social Security taxes. So this is your payroll tax obligations, which we're going to end up terminating eventually, right? In August of last year, President Trump signed a memorandum allowing employers to defer certain workers' Social Security taxes during the COVID-19 pandemic. The demand letter came at the time that I would have already filed my taxes and received my return which means that there was no opportunity for me to have my taxes amended based on this debt. After their work with the census was done, the employee was laid off. I am unemployed right now, and this debt is over $600. I have to go into a payment plan because the letter is very threatening. If we don't pay it back, we're subject to the IRS. And I don't want to have that happen. An IRS spokesperson told us those in this position can apply for a payment plan, see if they qualify to settle their debt for less than the full amount, and request a temporary delay for collection until their financial situation improves. This U.S. Census employee and another we spoke to tell us they were never made aware they would be responsible for paying back money they don't have. I think that this has a national impact. There are probably hundreds of thousands of managers that have been impacted by this. I never received any documentation, any communication from my former employer indicating that my payroll Social Security taxes would be deferred while I was working. Reached out to the U.S. Census for comment. They tell me they are working on a response. Brad? Okay, Suzanne, how many federal employees uh, do we think we're talking about here? You know, I asked the IRS that question. They then referred me to the Office of Personal Management for Government Employees, who then referred me to the Social Security Administration. I'm waiting to hear back. <laughs> Suzanne Lemonio, our thanks tonight.